Here we go again. Red alert! Red alert! Interceptors immediately! Regan? Come in, Regan. Regan? Come in, Regan. Regan? 
Shadow Lunar Module 32 cleared for takeoff at 142134. Stand by. Trans Earth trajectory green. Roger, Moon Base. Affirm TET. Lift off 32. Check Delta coordinates. Coordinates correct, sir. Earth orbit insertion, two hours, 13 minutes, eight seconds, sir. Right. Contact Shadow HQ and Moon Base. Tell them we're going for EOI in 43 minutes, 29 seconds. Right, sir. Re-entry angle, six decimal, 58 degrees. EOI, four minutes, 12 seconds.
That's why I picked you up myself. I wanted to brief you before you had a word with General Henderson. Well, I knew it wasn't for my big blue eyes. Coming back from the moon can be disorientating. Even moon speeds have some effect on time. Yes, sir. I see, sir. Never knew that, sir. latest fix, sir. If we steer 042, we should intercept in 18 minutes. Right. Alter course to 042. Give her everything she's got. Steer 042, maximum speed. What's that? What? Thought I saw something up there. Cars on dark country roads can be disorientating too. There, there is something up there. 15 degrees west. There, see? It's Venus. Wrong direction. Stay shot? No, we have none scheduled. Could be a Russian launch. No, we have their schedule too. Space debris. No, it's the wrong pattern. Well, all I've got left is a weather balloon. That would mean it's drifting against the wind. It's a UFO. Take her to Shadow Control. UFO and Earth's atmosphere are coming your way. Do you read me? Do you read me? In position, sir. Right. Five, Stand by. Four, three, two. One, zero. Launch stations. Launch stations. Clear one. One clear. Clear two. Two clear. Ready for takeoff, sir. Okay, lift off stations. Lift Check off boosters. stations. Checking boosters. Circuits. Cut boosters. H pulse circuits, okay. Cutting boosters. Relays, okay. Good night, Skipper. Interlocks engaged. Check the radio link. But how could it have got past moon base without being spotted? I don't know. Well, the radio checks out. We're receiving and transmitting at full strength. It's absurd. Why doesn't control answer? Well, it's not this end. Why haven't they landed and destroyed the base? They may have done just that. How long? About another ten minutes. It's coming this way. Harness. It's going overhead. to 
Siegel X-ray. Have you four on screen. Closing rapidly. to shatter control. U4 destroyed. It was night, but here, what's happened? I don't know. Look at that. Why doesn't it fall? I don't believe it. We must be dreaming. It's unreal. What's happening? Night into day. Everything stopped, arrested. It's like a clock that suddenly... Come on. It's like a nightmare. A grotesque nightmare.
Give me that piece of wood. Commander! Come on, let's get back to the car. Why haven't Moon Base reacted? They must know something's wrong. They could have had Skydiver over the base by now. What are you going to do? Call General Henderson. We need help. That thing's still up there. If it comes down before we can get assistance, there must be someone we can contact. It's no use. If we could just understand the principle they've used. There's no pulse. The body temperature is normal. Yet they're fixed, like, like statues. It's almost as though they'd be frozen in time. Yes, that's it. That way, whatever they were doing, it'd be fossilized when the force struck. Yet the lift from your office was working. Yes, I know. It doesn't fit the pattern. Colonel. This isn't frozen. They have one thing in common. They weren't in motion when it happened. Yes, they weren't moving in time. That's why the elevator works. But then if we could find a monitor that wasn't switched on. Now they were all switched on. There's got to be an answer. We just have to think it through. I don't seem to be able to think anymore. God, I feel so tired. I feel as though I could sleep for a week. Yes, I know. It must be shock catching up with us. Wait a minute. Let me see your watch. Oh, jeez, must have stopped. The minute we got to the studio. Just like the clock, beginning to get to us. Yes. I can feel it. Medical center. Anyway, they could get past moon base, travel so fast, cheat 
time. Sign barrier. Heat barrier. Light barrier. Time barrier. They can control it. But only for so long. Until the field force they built up on the way here begins to wear off. Like the waves of pressure you see in front of an airplane. That's why they haven't landed yet. They're still in a different continuum. Yes. Well, they obviously have to shed the field force before they can operate here. But why? How are they reaching us? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out some answers when we get back to the control room. Are you okay? Fine. Come on, let's go. What is that stuff? X-50. It speeds you up to ten times normal. Heart, muscles, brain, coordination. They use it a lot in the early high-G test flights. Finally banned it as being too dangerous. Why? Well, it burn people out. If we weren't under the evil eye now, we'd be moving so fast, we'd just be a blur. But the room is lead-lined, Colonel. It's built to resist any known force field. Commander. What is it? Another corridor. I'm sure I saw something move. Transistor microphone. Somewhere over there to the right. You've got to get me, Straker. I'm the only one who can help you. I'm the only one who can put it right. He's behind that wall. You stay here. Now cover me. around the corner, by the covered way to J and K block. Over here. Now stay behind that wall. K stages. He's over on one of the sound stages. silent films, haven't you, Mr. Bing? Well, this is the new bag. Non-moving movies. <laughs> kind of restful, isn't it? Yes, this is the place, Mr. Big. Yes, sir, I is here if you can but find me.
Take the other exit. We'll cut him off. Where'd he go? You don't look so big now, Commander. Don't you know me yet? I'm Turner, radar operator, class one. I know you, Commander. The big man in charge of the world. Tires! Yet. I'm outside of time, Straker. 
What's he mean, outside of time? Well, time has stopped in here, we know that. But somehow the aliens have given him immunity in return for his help. So he's independent of time. He can move backwards and forwards however he pleases. Yes. Well, that's why we can't pin him down. How are we going to find him? Well, we've got to try. Let's go. They may be years ahead of the human race, but we've got one thing they haven't. Bloody mindedness. It built this planet. small time. You haven't got the horsepower. I've got more than I need to fix you. No, come on, it takes guts and brains to be the boss. Listen, you primitive idiot. How do you think they're transmitting their power in here? Because I, I fixed a piece of equipment in the control room so it would act as an aerial. A piece of shadow equipment, straight up. I don't believe you. What piece of equipment? You must think I'm as stupid as you are. down. Drugs. Hypodermic. Use too much energy. What will another shot do to you? Doesn't matter. Quick. The Molly. It's our last chance. Shouldn't I have another shot? It was dangerous, wasn't it? I made my choice a long time ago. That key. Put it in there. Hang on to this. 
get very quiet about this. It's that old bloody mindedness. Can you hold on? Shall I get another one of these? No, there's no point. We're not going to get a second chance. We miss with this first one, they'll fry us. What's their range? Well, we have to wait till they get in close. I think I'll just play that back. I think I'll just play that back. Turner, 
Come and get it, Commander. <laughs> You're out of your league, Straker. The nearer they come, the more power they transmit to me. I can play time like a trumpet now. <laughs> you primitive idiot. You can only see me where I've just been, or where I'm going to be. Not where I am, unless I want you to. You're Lex Straker! Commander Straker experienced such an extended moment. 